Hey guys, today's project is actually project 84 of the uh, 101 projects for your Boxster book. You guys should have this by now if you're working on a Boxster. It's installing the HID lighting system and uh, this you may notice is not my Boxster. This is actually my buddy Tom's here. He uh, brought his 2003 Boxster over and uh, we have this lighting kit that he bought, the Xenoflow HID system and uh, we're gonna install that in his car. All right, we actually just did the one on the driver's side as a test and everything is working well, so now I'll show you how to do it over here on the passenger side. The first step is there are a couple of these little plastic guys you turn to pull down the carpet so you have access to where how you undo the headlight. Am I in the right place? Yep. Okay. Is that it? Just use their tool. Yeah, because I pulled this one off the first time, that was the wrong one. <laughs> no, that is the right one. That's the one I just put back. This one? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, that is that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. An easy way to work on these is just stick them face down here in the front hood and you won't scratch it up. There is just a little tab on the side that you push in and lift up and it releases the two tabs in the back and we can see right into the headlight. So this is our high beam over here. This is our low beam. This is the one that we're gonna be replacing. So uh, it's pretty easy. You just squeeze these tabs in to unlock them from these little hooks. Actually, you push this side out to get it out of that hook. And uh, then we're gonna pull the back ends out as well to get the whole, take the whole bracket off so that Actually, we can take that light out. This comes off. So, yeah, you can disconnect that from the bulb itself and lift the bulb out. To get the new one in, uh, we're probably going to have to take the whole bracket off. We'll Alright, we're going to cut this open and show you the contents. Mm, make the point. This is covered. And it says, do not touch the bulb glass. Yeah, so when we get to that part, we'll probably wear some gloves just to make sure we don't touch it. And this is the ballast. All right, so we got a ballast and it's got easy quick connects for us so that we can uh, hook everything together. And it actually, the bulb comes with a cool little grommet built into it right here. So we will be cutting through that uh, black plastic housing that we removed and it'll be nice and watertight. The cover that comes off is where that grommet is going to go into, so you can see this is how it goes in. So right here on this side of the light that we removed is where we're going to cut a three-quarter inch diameter hole with a little hole saw. So let's just do that now. Here's the rotor from my earlier project that we're going to use as a little tabletop so our saw can go through. Where is it? Which side? Yep, that side right there. This guy. new hole. Ah. So next we're gonna stick this through our hole that we just cut and this on this particular light kit is a super tight fit. You got to jam that thing through but we learned it does fit. All right then it's simply a case of sticking the other things through all the way to the grommet and pressing the grommet in the hole, pulling it out the other side. There's a little lip on it that you got to pull all the way through the hole and around. All right, when it's all done, that's what it looks like on this side and that side. Now we just take the protective covering off of the bulb and we're going to put the bulb in here. But you notice that we cannot disconnect the wiring from this bulb. It's all kind of hardwired onto it. So we're just going to remove this piece, taking these out of here. And when we're putting it back on, remember that the little knobs here face down to hold that thing in. We uh, had to do this twice on the other side. All right, so for this one, we just took the little plasticky ring off. I think it's just for packing. And then we had to actually cut the bottom part off so we couldn't fit the bulb through it. So just snip that thing off however you want. Yeah. 
And their bulb is free. All right, now we just take the bulb over here to our yeah, we, little wire, guys. This is why we had to take this off so that we can slide it through here. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're just gonna reassemble this. That this tab, the, that tab goes that there. That tab goes right here to the back. So this is the uh, tricky part. You need some little kid size hands for come in handy. Here. Okay, now there's the one in the this back side over here. It was this one over here on the side. Really? There we go. Okay. All right. So we now, seat so these this, back in. Get this out of the way. There's that floating tab that goes in the notch. And this settles down in here. A little strange. Let's cover it out of the way. One. Outside. Is it going outside? Okay. So that's down. Yep. That's down. Alright. That's in. Okay, so the next step is taking our two wires here and connecting them to our old wiring harness. And the brown wire is our ground, so that goes to the black on our new bulb. And the yellow wire is our positive, goes to the red. And that's it for the inside. It's all connected, so now we can just uh, put some electrical tape to... around this to insulate it, stick it back in there, and close this up. Yeah. Right, just wrap that up with some tape. Okay, I'm going to turn this here. Stick the tabs back in on the back, and click it down. All right, now our ballast that came with it has some really easy connections that you just plug up on the outside. And there's a little shoulder right there that this goes over. Click. Shoulders. And then line up the shoulder to the tab. Click. That's all there is to it. It's actually uh, done and will work now if we stick our light back in. So what we're going to do with that though is put some double sided tape on it. If we look inside the light housing we can see over on the side that there is a big flat spot here and that's where we're going to mount the ballast. If you put a little double sided tape on it we're going to stick it right there after we clean it up so that it will stick. You can actually see where the light housing plugs in when you push the light all the way back. It plugs in right here, and there are some tracks here that it goes into and slides back there. While we're in here, this is the little contraption that you turned at the beginning to release the light. So it just um, comes up and presses the light up out so that it can, can uh, disengage. What we've discovered is that this wiring needs to go up and over that plug-in receptacle up in the fender. Then this will come down into that vacant spot and we will double tape it right in there. There is just to, to set it. That's where it's going to go tape. And there is the plug. Can you see? So again, this is this is where we're going to tape the ballast down. Is right there where we cleared it off. Nice flat place, and the wiring is actually going to go up and over the plug receptacle for the headlamp. That's where it's got the most clearance.
track here, which you start with there, and then you follow as you push it in, and you will see there's a lug and a track over here on this right side, right there. If those two are lined up, you've got a pretty good chance that all this is going to go together very nicely. All right, now we just tighten it down. towards the front of the car until it clicks like that. Now it's locked in there. And that's all there is to it. So let's fire it up and test it out. All right, we can see our normal lows just clicked on. And that's our hard beams. Hard beams we did not touch, so the high beams are Still the original bulbs, just the HID, nice, pretty light, they're low beams. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe, like this video if it helped, and we'll see you next time. So, so you know, the book says that it takes three hours. This was our first time ever doing it and recording it at the same time, and it only took an hour and a half. So for you, it should be well under an hour after watching this video and knowing what you're doing.